Hello, I'm Matilda Williams from ABA, reading for the part of Gabrielle West. I never knew such an unruly set of hooligans in my life. The new amateur girls are at the bottom of the trouble. They're recruited in batches of 20 to 100, some from the Midlands, some from Yorkshire, Ireland, Scotland and Wales. They're brought down here and, if accepted, are put into very rough hostels or cheap lodgings. Naturally, under these circumstances, only the roughest of the rough will come, and a good many are girls that have come away from home because they've made things a bit too hot for themselves. Mary Morgan, have we met before? What are you looking for under my sandwich, Missy? Some sort of bomb? Just be quiet, Mary. You know what we're looking for. Firearms are among the most serious problems in the factory. We are required to search the workers thoroughly for matches and must go through all their belongings. It's mine! You don't have any business here. For God's sake, stop it. I know you all smoke around here and if something were to catch on fire then everything would go up in the air. In a factory like this, where we have a good deal of genuine police work to do, it is really important that we should have the power to take out and serve a summons and carry through a case without being obliged to pass everything on to the men, please. After the break, they quite simply refused to go back to the machines. They'll only work once Mary Morgan's been reinstated. Now listen, ladies. We can very well hand over your jobs to others. If you really think that your dear Mary is worth the trouble, one of our duties here is to get the girls out of the dining rooms and back to work at the proper time. When I and the constables first attempted this in real earnest, they hooted and booed. But we soon learned to take control of the situation. What about your men out there at war? Do you want the Germans to thrash them? Let us make things clear. We don't need any communists or troublemakers here. Now come on! Back to work!